Hey everybody, it's Dustin Bradley with Bradley Brothers and today we are touring this house in Gilbert, Arizona. This house is listed as four beds, two baths, 2,934 square feet. It's got a two car garage and the lot is 10,189 square feet. So it's $750,000 and it's got some interesting things to it that I'm gonna show you. First, I'm gonna pop outside and show you the front and then we'll walk through the inside. If you get value out of today's video or any of the other videos we do, then I encourage you to subscribe and hit that uh, notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. And then if you want any more information on this particular property, then go down to the description and you can find the listing down there. Or if this isn't the right property, reach out to myself or my brother. Our contact information is down in the description. We help people buy and sell properties throughout the whole valley, and we would love to help you find or sell your next property. So here is the front. I point this house out in a lot of videos, but you see this green? That just shows that they sprayed for weeds, so the weeds will be dying off. Gilbert is one of the more popular communities in the whole valley. It's uh, a little more established than, let's say, Queen Creek or Santan. So it's a little more expensive, but it is right up there in popularity. I'd say it's one of the top three communities in the whole valley. Beautiful walk up to the entryway. Okay, so we walk in and immediately right into the living room. And then open up to the right right here is a little dining area. We have a fireplace, gas fireplace. It feels very open. I even like that little dining room space right there. I wish the flooring was uniform, but this does look pretty good. So it's a mixture of tile and hardwood, granite countertops, white painted cabinets, a section over here for a breakfast table, space for some bar stools. Got that ship lap fireplace all open to the backyard so you can get lots of natural light. Ceilings in here are going to be about 10 feet. Tons of storage. Here is the laundry room. And then this is the interesting part. So this is the two car garage. And then over here, it looks like it might've been intended to be a three car garage. Well, I would say for sure. And they decided to uh, choose to make it livable space. So there is no bathroom or kitchen or anything like that. So I don't know, you could use it as a home gym or I guess a guest bedroom. Or if you have a kid that you don't want to see too much, maybe an unruly teenager, because it is off the garage. There is access to the side yard over there. So walking back in, we're gonna pass the laundry room, go through the kitchen. And then we do have split living over here. Let's go over here to the primary room first. French doors leading right into the room, carpeted. Okay, so you have a nice large space here. You have your bathroom there, and then you have a bonus space over here for maybe a toddler or baby, home office. And it has its own closet as well. So that's kind of neat. You do have access to the backyard. Nice jetted tub. There is jets in there. It's a really light grayish blue paint color with white baseboard, white cabinets. On this side of the house, here's the rest of the bedrooms. 
walk-in closet. Here's the bathroom that your guest and everyone else are gonna share. Pretty cool tile, subway tile. I like it when they go to the ceiling or a little higher. It's missing the uh, spigot or faucet up there. And then this room is interesting. It's like, it could be used as, almost looks like a gymnasium floor, but it is nice. Um, there's no closet, so it's not a legal bedroom, but it is, it could be a playroom, bonus room, rec room, kids room, office, even a bedroom. You just have to get some type of armor to store everything. So if, let's say that they're counting this as a bedroom, this would be bedroom one, this would be bedroom two, this would be bedroom three, and then the primary would be bedroom four with that bonus room off the garage. So I'm not sure how they're counting that. There is not a pool on this property. There's space for a pool. Lots of trees. Oh, you have a little raised garden over here in your side yard. Feels very private. You got a lemon. Uh, that's probably, I think it's grapefruit actually. Yeah, it's grapefruit. I love these trees. Paint's in great shape. Yeah, I'd say overall the house is in great shape. That door leads into the primary bedroom. And then there is an intercom system I noticed throughout the house. If you have any questions on this property, the, the uh, listing will be down in the description. And uh, if this isn't the right property, reach out to my brother or myself. Our contact information is gonna be down in the description and we'd love to help you buy or sell your next property. And if you haven't subscribed, come on, what are you waiting for? Go ahead, subscribe. And uh, we'll be bringing videos at you all the time. Talk to you soon, thanks for watching.